As I always say, reading the road ahead and planning ahead is so important. And that's what this video is about. Here I'm taking a right turn emerging from a housing estate. And as I'm doing so, I need to make a note of this sign here, warning me of a mini roundabout up ahead. Sometimes road signs are strategically placed like this in order to maximize visibility. And similarly, as I'm approaching this roundabout, I need to pay attention to these two signs here, which remind me of a speed limit change from 50 to 60. Small speed limit signs usually act as a reminder and larger ones like these can indicate a change of speed limit. I've heard some learners are not too sure about what the limit is on certain roads, so watching out for signs like these on the approach to junctions and roundabouts can help you to be more aware and hopefully prevent you from accidentally driving too fast or too slow. We're going to talk about pedestrians and pedestrian crossings now. So firstly, don't expect people to always use a pedestrian crossing, even if it's close by. These people here cross right on the edge of a busy mini roundabout, even though there's a zebra crossing close to them. Look at the dog edging close to the road. Dogs on leads can get excited if they're distracted. So this is something to be aware of. But the person in charge of the dog doesn't look like he has any intention of crossing the road, judging by his body language. Note the way I'm careful not to proceed until I'm certain that I won't block the pedestrian crossing. As I gradually get closer to the roundabout, I must also make a note of this person here, just in case she uses a pedestrian crossing or decides to cross the road further up in the same direction I'm going. So you can see how important it is to be reading the situation and not to be zoning in on one or two specific things. Here I'm driving towards a roundabout and look at this pedestrian here as I'm about to lose him behind this car. And you'll see how important it is to be aware of hazards and potential hazards up ahead instead of having tunnel vision. As we play it on a bit, you can see how the red car blocks my view of the pedestrian. And by the time I see him again, he's already started to cross the road. Now, because I've noticed him earlier and I'm alert to the potential danger, I'm able to stop in good time. However, if I hadn't have been aware of him and if I hadn't have been planning ahead, I may not have been able to stop safely and it could have led to a grade three fault if it was a driving test. We're going to talk about roundabouts now. As I'm approaching this roundabout here, you can see that there's a car already on the roundabout going right. And it looks okay for me to go at this particular moment in time. But this is why you have to give multiple looks and not just one look approaching roundabouts because this other car has right of way now. I like to call this the 12 o'clock danger and learners must not be too focused on what's on the right because you might miss something important coming from the 12 o'clock direction on the roundabout. This car is further advanced on the roundabout than I am, so he has priority and my vision must be broad enough to see this. On this mini roundabout, there's a bit of a queue due to this pedestrian crossing the road here a little further up. Now, I don't want to enter the roundabout just yet because if I do, then I'm blocking cars taking this exit here. And that's why I hold back for a few extra seconds just to show courtesy to any cars that might want to exit here. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll be back very soon with another video. If you have any questions about driving or you'd like me to analyze your driving test report sheet, then send me an email to this address here. However, if you are sending me your driving test report sheet to analyze, then please give me as much information as possible about what happened and about what the tester said to you after the test. The more information I have, the better. I'll be back soon and I'll see you then. Slongafol.